Yes, yes, true. Giving is improving, Mrs. Beasley, but look at all these outstanding bills. How can we afford a pastor? We can't keep starting every meeting with this financial doom and gloom. No, no, we cannot afford to stay the course. When are we gonna talk about the music program? I still think that we need to try different styles of worship. We did that once and it did not go well. Okay, so then we try again. I don't think so, and you aren't the one leading the music. Well, excuse me? What about the school project? That's going well. Nope, nope, don't think it's working. Are we going to keep talking, or are we going to do more walks in the neighborhood? Oh, yeah, over my dead body. Well, that, that can, can be arranged. Okay. What are we doing here? Let's take a break. I need some fresh air. Park Grove Community Church has lost its pastor and its way and is closing its doors unless it reinvents itself despite itself with the help of Chuck. The committee. Hey, Pete. Chuck. What are you doing out here? Don't you have one of them committee meetings to get back to? It's funny you should ask. You know, it seems like it's always funny you should ask with you. Yeah, I I'm just not uh, sure about, about a lot of things, actually. Problem? I just thought things were going so well, you know? It's like the, the nightmare committee's past in there. It's just conflict. How quickly we revert to old ways. I'm just not sure we're making a difference. Isn't some conflict a normal part of life? It can mean you are making progress. Yeah. You're talking about eggs and the omelets, right? Yeah. Well, I think they are more interested in throwing the eggs at each other instead of actually you know, cooking with the egg. Pete? What about this? Uh, who knows how long it's been in there? That's perfectly good bean dip you have. That's a vintage bean dip. You don't want to mess with that. Put it back. It's fine. But we don't have chips. Chip, we have... Boom. <laughs> Ta-da. Plenty of chips. Okay, well what about the cookies? They expired three you months ago. You want to throw away the cookies? Those cookies, I had one of those cookies last night. That was a yummy sugar cookie. Hey Chuck. Hey. That was a rough start in there, huh? It was like WWC Worldwide Wrestling Committee. No. I'm trying to lighten the mood. Come on, let's go. Uh, we've been through a lot with the committee, haven't we? Yeah, but, I mean, we always get through it, don't we? Daniel, I'm not sure I'm gonna continue on the committee. What? Why? You're kidding, right? Look, I have a confession to make. I don't like committees. You know the church committee jokes out there? I, I used to be the guy making those jokes. Look, I get it, Chuck, but, but hasn't this been different? Maybe. I mean, I'd like to think so. Chuck, I, I haven't been there and, and done that, okay? This is the only committee for me. But, look, we just got off to a rough start. Come on, let's, let's go inside. Look, I'm not saying all committees are bad, okay? I just... I want to make sure that, that we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. Are we, are we really making a difference? And you don't think that we are? I've just seen so many church committees become like the, the tail wagging the dog, you know? You mean the ones that people make all the jokes about? So you get it. Look, Chuck, you, you brought me into this, okay? 
It's gonna be fine. It always is. Let's just go inside. Uh, yeah. I'll be in in a second. Just, uh, don't say anything to anyone else about this just yet. Okay? Yeah, sure. Daniel, rough start to our meeting today, huh? Yeah. Something wrong? I'm not sure. Well, Chuck doesn't really seem like himself, does he? Well, earlier he just mentioned that he was thinking about leaving the committee. What? No! He doesn't think that we're making a difference. Sometimes I wonder that too, but we can't let him leave. And just don't say anything, okay? Well, he doesn't want anyone to know. Yeah, sure. School supplies for the kids. This is the last box. Oh, right. That drive ended last Sunday. Whoa, whoa. What is with all... We just got rid of all the rummage sales stuff. Now all this new clutter... Uh, all this new clutter has been here for years. Is something wrong? Chuck invited me. He asked me to be a part of this committee. He can't leave. Wait. What are you talking about? Is Chuck leaving? He said something about, are we making a difference? Are we? Lots of nice things for the kids, don't you think? Glenda? Is something wrong? Is the committee making a difference? You know, every committee has conflict. We'll get back on track. Chuck will help. Oh, I'm so bad with secrets. I'm so, I'm so bad with secrets. Mr. Chuck wants to leave the committee. Okay, Chuck's back. Can we get back to the meeting, please? Too much time wasted. Where were we? Chuck, why, why are you we leaving us? Need I don't to we talk. need you. Please Look, don't go Chuck, anywhere. Thank you for being patient. Okay, I gotta make sure this. All right, thank you so much, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel, what? Chuck is planning to leave the committee. Why are you leaving the Compass Committee? Really? I think that's my question, too. All right, all right, this is largely my own fault and a little bit yours. Sorry. I think that our discussion earlier before the break brought up some, some bad memories of some dysfunctional committees that I've served on in the past. Lack of direction or uh, communication, purpose, disagreements that became personal, meeting for meeting's sake. I just, I thought our committee was different. I thought, I thought we were moving forward and I thought we were growing together and then today it was, just... Are we really making a difference? Well, we do need to meet. Why? Because we do. This is my point. How do we make sure that we are making a difference? Well, let's check the numbers, okay? Let's just Please, run. Please, is it always just all about the money? Everything is about money, dear. Okay, Mr. Riley, I think we've come further than just looking at the numbers. Putting okay. all of our eggs in the money basket. Eggs in the money basket? Not a literal egg in the offering plate. This has everything to do with money. This has nothing to do with money. This is, this is exactly my point. It's the same old argument. Can we move past this? I don't want to be one of those do-nothing-let's-meet-again committees. I think part of what happened was my own fault for not telling you guys how I feel. I'm, I'm sorry for setting off alarms. I just don't want to be the, the butt of another church committee joke. You know you don't have to. Yeah, Glenda. What, what do you call a horse designed by a committee? A camel! Heard that. That's pretty good. I hadn't heard that. Can you explain my joke to me? Later. Look, I just think that the days of committees meeting every month just because are over. 
If you don't need to meet, don't meet. If at the end of the meeting you, you don't have a, a clear goal and a firm understanding of what's next, then why meet? Because congregations need working committees. But they aren't working committees if they don't accomplish or inspire anything. They need to make a difference. Churches have to evaluate their committees, all of them. And they can't be afraid to ask the hard questions, right? Um, uh, would this committee serve better as a task force, maybe, or um, a, a short-term team that just exists uh, for a particular purpose uh, in a particular moment in time? I mean, don't we all want to ensure that what we work on is effective? Okay, look. I'm not saying that the, the standing committee system is necessarily broken, all right? It, it may be fine for some churches. But I've never heard anyone praise the committee system. Uh, that's a good point. I don't think I have either. Yeah, the committee needs to uh, make a decision, implement it, and then move on. Amen to that. Amen to that. It's got me feeling a little bit like a preacher on a roll. All right, what, what I mean is uh, if it feels like I'm spending too much time in committee meetings, it's probably because I'm spending too much time in committee meetings. I want my time to count. Yes, make sure we are always making a difference in the church. Never have a meeting just because it's scheduled. Uh, have a purpose. Committees are meant to make a difference in the church. They should not exist for themselves. Have I not been saying this? Yes, finally, I, I agree with that. They need to exist. They need to function, of course, but they should not be all we are about as a church, obviously. Amen. Right. Okay. So, how do we evaluate and decide? How do we make sure that what we are doing is making a difference? And how do we keep changing based off what's important? That's a great point, Hannah. And how do we remind ourselves to treat each other like brothers and sisters in Christ during the committee meetings? Well, if we can't be Christ-like to one another, we might as well pack it in. Well, are we as members of this committee willing to change for the good of this church? Are we willing to act differently toward one another, no matter the idea, no matter the history? When are we willing to change for what's best for the church, and not just based on personal preference? How do we make sure that our committees are not replacing ministry? That our committee meetings always result in actual ministry? Wait, are you still leaving? Do you really think things are changing? Are they changing fast enough? Is this church still gonna close despite all of our efforts? Look, I was reluctant to allow you to be a part of this committee, but you are here, okay? Things are changing for the better, and there is life in this church again. You've been so helpful to us. Mm, no, you've been helpful to me. Look at you. You're all excellent leaders in this church, all right? Make no mistake, this, this is not about me. No, this is not about you. It's about God, so sit down. All right. Okay, where were we? 